on this corner. All right, guys, it is the moment you have all been waiting for. The wait is over. We are finally doing the haunted investigation at my house. But I couldn't do this without Sam and Colby. This is about to be a crazy night. I have to tell you guys everything that's been going on, and I couldn't do it without you guys. We're glad to be back, man. I have to tell you guys the full story. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. About a few weeks ago, I investigated my brother's house because he was experiencing a lot of paranormal stuff. This was the most activity I think I've ever gotten in a haunted video. Really? Yeah, the craziest thing is that the spirit we were interacting with wasn't responding to what my brother was saying, but was only responding to me. All right, now walk in front of it. <gasps> I've never asked something and it did it for me, never. Once. After the investigation wrapped up, got home, went to sleep, around 3 a.m., my doorbell rings. My doorbell keeps ringing. Lola's freaking out right now. Like, listen. It constantly kept ringing. I hit up my security. I'm like, hey, who's at my door? I was really scared. He's like, no one. And as soon as I opened the door, the doorbell stopped ringing. What do I do? No. Didn't think anything of it till I posted the video and people were like, oh, you just let whatever was in Brandon's house into your home. I'm not like an expert yet at this, so I didn't ask it to not follow me. Oh, so that was like right after you left? It was that night that I went to sleep and it's never happened in the year that I've lived here. Anything like that sense? Mm -mm. If you didn't ever say goodbye to it at Brandon's house, then it probably did follow you. Even after that, my curtains in my kitchen keep hitting the window randomly just to like let me know that something is there. It's not AC. Yeah, I was gonna say. No AC. No air current at all. No air at all. I went to Bradley Martin's podcast. We were filming the podcast and we were talking about the ghost stuff. Sound panel fell off the wall. The craziest. Jesus Christ, the studio's just falling apart. Dude, no, it's the ghost. Bro, what the fuck? Something just fell off the wall. Why are you doing this to me? Because I don't know if I want you on this because podcast. You Whoa. And he said that's never happened before. Because those are attached to the wall. Yeah. Yep. I went to my cousin Anthony's house telling a story about everything happening. His one mil plaque fell off the wall. My one mil plaque fell? No. Wait, what? After my brother's investigation, things have amped up like crazy. But you don't know what this thing is or any names or anything? <laughs> no names, no nothing. I think I needed the two experts to be here with me. I didn't want to do this alone. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. To the viewers, we were eating lunch before even filming the intro and Sam noticed a scratch mark on my neck. Did you scratch your neck mm. really hard? Do I was that? Like actual like bloody scratch marks. You're Right. That literally happened like earlier today. Well, what's crazy about that is that's not like a human scratch. Like that looks like a cat. And I don't have a cat, guys. You could not even like recreate that if you tried. Just to remind the viewers out there too, the last time I was with Sam and Colby, we went to investigate a ship, a haunted ship, and I got scratched on there too. I forgot about yes. that. Yes. You guys ready to do this? I'm to find some answers. Let's do it. Cool, baby. What about you? You have a spirit attached to you too. Not anymore. I took it out. Are you going to teach me how? It's a take painful it process. Here. These are the curtains. Like obviously right now we just walk past them so they're moving but this is exactly how it looks first thing i do is check the ac because i'm like oh like maybe the ac is on yeah which currently it is so we're gonna turn it off just in case anything happens we don't want anyone thinking it's the air so it's off oh and i want to show you guys real quick too you can't open these windows like there's not like a latch to open them yeah. there'd be no current right exactly like that. none of these windows have something to open them i remember when we first walked in you were telling us about this and while you were telling us about this all the lights were flickering on and yes, off. Guys, guys, the lights were flickering on and off, and I don't have electrical problems. Like, that has not happened before no. in the last couple weeks. I don't like this. It could just be something that's trying to just tell you something specifically. You know what I mean? Like, what if it's like a, a nicer spirit that just has a message? Exactly, yeah. I don't want to always assume the worst, so. Or it could be a demon. <laughs> <laughs> just putting that out there. I have to mention, someone is coming later tonight. So <laughs> and it's not one of us. Yeah, no. So. Someone is coming. Stick around. It's going to be a surprise. For real. Okay, okay, what are we starting with? Guys, it's an EMF. Basically, if this thing lights up at all, it means there's electromagnetic energy around and probably a ghost. So if this thing lights up, we run. And these are just regular flashlights, guys. Home Depot flashlights. Twist them 
on, twist them off. Easy. It's known that spirits are able to tap these or twist them to turn them off or on, answer some yes or no questions. I'm thinking for the first investigation, we just try to figure out, is it here? If it is, is it the same thing that's been following you this entire time? Lately, there's been a lot of things happening in my house. I've seen scratch marks on my neck. My doorbell's been ringing nonstop. Curtains have been moving. Lights have been going on and off. If there's anyone or anything attached to me or in this house, please. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say, let it be known that you're here. If you can go and turn off the flashlight that just turned on, you just go up and tap it, and it won't harm you. Okay. Instantly here. Instantly. Yeah, okay. Instantly. I have an idea. You said when you were at Brandon's, it was only answering to you. Yep. What if we try asking it? That would be literally amazing. just got it to say on and off. Oh, if you guys wanna try, let's prove that you wanna talk to us as well. Did it just go off? Yeah, just yeah. Go off. Oh my god, wait, this just turned no on. No way. It just turned off there and then turned this on. All right, if that's you saying that you really want to talk to us, Sam and Colby, you know us too, can you turn back on this blue flashlight? Oh, that was oh my god. Dude. So it knows you so guys it knows as well. us too? You've been making the blue flashlight go on. Can you turn on the red flashlight on this corner? Oh, oh my god. My god. Insane. Literally, it answers exactly whatever you want it to do. Does that indicate that it's a good spirit or we don't know yet? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but at least it wants to talk to you and respects you. Okay, if you are a good spirit, please make the blue flashlight go off. But if you are a bad spirit, please make the red flashlight go off. What does that mean? That's concerning. I wouldn't want to say. Is this the same spirit that has been following Rug around for the past couple of weeks? If so, can you turn on one of these flashlights like you have? But oh, just, just for a second. It just flashed once. So, Thank you. So it has been that one? So it's the same one. Same thing. Okay. Oh, the blue yeah. one turned on, but I don't know if it's still referring to that first question we asked. I hope so. I would hope so too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now they're oh, both on. on. Whoa. How many are there? If there's more than one spirit in this house, can you make one of the flashlights turn on? If there's only one spirit in the house, can you turn one of these flashlights on? If you'd rather not say, can you turn one of the flashlights on? Oh, okay. I'd rather not say. Again, there's a that's lot. weird. Well, Do we not say it. Uh, I want to know about this. Same. If this spirit has been messing with the curtains, pushing them back and forth while Rug's been here, can you turn off that blue flashlight to let us know that was you? Maybe not. Oh, oh. Okay. What was that? I've been hearing creaks over there the entire time. You just want to confirm, I, I know I didn't give you enough time last time, but if you can just confirm for us that you have been touching the curtains. Or making the lights flicker. Yeah. If that was you, turn on one of these flashlights. I don't get it. Oh, whoa! That just like flashed for like once a second. Yeah. So it was it. I think so. I mean, like, if it's been messing with the lights in general throughout the house, like, and they're making the flashlights go off, like, is that their way of communicating too? Maybe. Or mm -hmm. sometimes they'll, like, try to drain energy mm -hmm. and lights and stuff. Boom. Just like oh, that. That's awesome. Oh, and that. If there's a better place for us to talk to you, can you turn off both flashlights? Oh, there goes one. He's just walking over there. Whoa! Okay, so what do we know? We know that there is multiple spirits here, potentially. If they know all of us, it's the ones that have been flickering these lights and moving the curtains. But we don't know its intentions. We don't know its name. At least we got something, man. Notice how like we were talking about other things and the flashlights just don't go off. Exactly. When we're not like referencing them. Asking questions. Until you say something. Until we like reference them again. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us. Wow. That's crazy. All right, so we are at the front of the house where, you know, the doorbell was constantly ringing. All right, listen how creepy this is. Oh, that's Going up. on constantly? Now listen, listen. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Until I open the door. I might have the scariest doorbell jingle. And you open the door and it just stopped. Open the door and it oh. stopped. And that's, again, never malfunctioned till the night of one of my scariest investigations. What do you have in your hands? We got you? some new equipment. This is even new to Sam and I. You've seen the obelisk before, right? I have, yeah. So it just like spits out random words. This thing does the same thing, except it tends to be a lot more terrifying. And then I also got the standard cat balls where you can get at a pet store. The only way they go off is by physical touch. So we could put one here and maybe one on this side. And just to give you guys an example, like, 
Oh my gosh. Wait, did that Don't just go off? Play. Yeah. Wait, Dude, that one hasn't stopped either. We do cat balls in every video and never have it go off. Cause it's not stuck on like on like. What? Okay, hold on. What? Did that go off? Or yeah. yeah. This is crazy. Here we go. We were just talking to something in the kitchen. You said it knew us. We're just trying to figure out the intention behind the person that wants to 